two young lives cut short. It hurts that someone that comes to this country full of dreams, full of expectations and wanting a better future for their kids gets their life taken away. 35 year old Alejandra Cabrejo, a mom of two and her daughter, 14 year old Mariana Cabrejo, both stabbed to death last Sunday at the lodge apartments on River Edge Drive by who loved ones say was Alejandra's boyfriend, 25 year old John Pierre Salazar. She had uh, like an abusive relationship with this person who basically went to kill her. They say the teen just wanted to defend her mom when Salazar allegedly stabbed her too. Alejandra died from her injuries before first responders could help. Mariana was airlifted to the hospital where she later died too. The mom leaves behind a three-year-old girl a half sibling to Mariana. That's also, you know, another tragedy because she's going to grow up without her mom and her sister. Now, exactly one week later, both loved ones and strangers gather at this church off of Webb Road, memorializing them as victims of femicide. For Blanca Castano, I know them and I, I really love them. Calling Alejandra a hard worker who wanted the best for her family. Moving to Tampa from Colombia just two years ago, Castano helped them settle in. I, I have no words to this kind of situation, no words. Now, pushing for Salazar to be prosecuted to the fullest extent, especially after he was accused of fleeing to Maryland after the crimes. Make sure that there is just justice for this family. It's not gonna bring Alejandra's Mariana's life back, but at least some justice for what took place. Absolutely tragic. Now, last week, we told you Salazar is expected to be extradited back to Tampa by December 28th. Tonight, I asked TPD if he's back in Florida yet and if his mugshot is available for release. I'm told no comment. This is still an active investigation. Brianna. All right, Jennifer Vegles for us. Thank you, Jennifer.